It has all the hallmarks of any movie theater, the flashy sign, concession stand, and an usher to get you seated. Hi. Hello. Room four, I guess. Room, second room in the front. Only in here, an audience will see things more captivating than Hollywood could ever capture. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the magic of Rick and Susan Wilcox. Rick and Susan Wilcox have called the Wisconsin Dells home for close to two decades. Their magic show, a Dells standout since the start. Okay, just what you do, you take a piece of rope about this length, when you untwist the ends so you can see this. Take the ends of the rope, twist them together once. If you pull the ends right where you've twisted them, nothing happens. But if you twist right here, you can take the ends off the rope. So now we have a rope with no ends. <clears throat> Not much you can do with it. So I always keep the ends in my pocket. When you're ready, you can twist them back on. One goes underneath, one on top. And then you can start all over again with one long piece. There are the tricks that seem more simple. Then there are those that require the entire stage to pull off. I'm always coming up with new illusions and we're running out of space. It's the thing you quickly learn about Rick Wilcox. The guy only thinks big. And he is laser focused on this form of entertainment that started only as a hobby. Well, it turned into a big deal when I needed to get a job. When I was 15, I got a job as a magician at a restaurant doing sleight of hand when I was 15. And I did that for many, many years, many different restaurants. From restaurant magic to a successful career. In all that time, perhaps the best trick he's ever pulled off is meeting and marrying his wife, Susan. We have a lot of fun out there. I have fun now. Starting out, I was a little bit hesitant to help on stage. That's not my forte, but now I love it. Rick was doing corporate events all over the country when I met him, and so it was fun to travel with him, but then we got to the point where we thought, time to settle down and stop moving the big stuff and see if we can draw an audience close to home. Cody's going to examine the bottom of the main for us. Check that out, make sure it's sewn all the way across. Have his uh, tricks gotten a little better since? They've gotten bigger. <laughs> they were always fabulous. He's, his sleight of hand and the way he works an audience, I think he's one of the best. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> That's, that's my wife. Stay out of it. <laughs> there will be laughs and many moments of wonder while you watch for 90 minutes. And I realize that bubbles are a lot like magic. They appear right before your very eyes and then in an instant, they're gone. Cora's fascination with watching bubbles. It's the same feeling I have when I watch magic. <laughs> I felt it firsthand. I'll never be able to explain what I witnessed on stage when I watched a small table float right in front of me. Don't move. Just concentrate on the table coming up. Then there are the card tricks that still have my head spinning. Do you want to mix them or do you trust me? I, yeah. You want to mix yeah, them? I okay. definitely don't trust you. All right. Yeah. You're our magician. I'm going to cut the cards in a little pile like this. Whenever you feel like it's right, you just say stop. Stop. Do you want me to leave these or drop them? Drop them. Was the card that you selected the Jack of Hearts? No. What was it? King of Hearts. You're right. 
you stopped dead at it. Congratulations. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> okay, pick out a different card. Show it to the camera. Oh, I'm sorry, I said a different card. You pick the same one. Look, they're all different. Cutting to it, the uh, seven of spades. If you hold your hand out and you just name your card, I'll change it right in your hand. The two of spades. Two of spades? Yeah. Okay. Did it change? Oh, right in your hand. Okay. This is freaking me out. <laughs> <laughs> I just think magic is perfect for all ages. We try to get it to the point where they're just enjoying enjoying themselves and they don't really care that much how they work. Some people can't help it, some people need to know, but if you can get to the point where you just enjoy watching it and you don't care how it works, that's, that's what we want. We want it to be entertainment. Don't twink your eyes or you'll miss it. In three seconds, ready, one, two, three. Whoa. That was incredible. <laughs> I don't know how I did any of that. That's what I was gonna ask you, have you figured any of this out yet? Not at all, and you know, I'm going to school to be an engineer, and so my, my mind kind of works that way, and I just, I didn't know how he did any of it. It was incredible. What'd you think of the show? I thought it was great. Rick Wilcox is the man. What makes the Wilcox show even more special is the time they spend with their fans. The magician that really influenced me was Doug Henning. Um, I really enjoyed watching him. I enjoyed how he really got excited about his magic and how nice of a person he was. After the show, he actually spent time with me. He came and came out and talked with me and I was like, not nobody. And so we do that now too. That's why we come to this fireplace and, and we want to talk with people and, and I want to be the same way. It's why Rick always has something up his sleeve, giving old and new audiences a reason to keep coming back. Yeah, no, it doesn't seem like a job because I enjoy it so much. It's nice, it's nice to, uh, to do something that you really love. This has been more than we dreamed and um, everything we hoped for. We just wanted to be, have a place to do Rick's magic. We want them to just really enjoy themselves and kind of just forget about their worries, laugh and see things that they've never seen before and walk out going, wow, that was great. Life to the Max is brought to you by LifeTouch, photography for a lifetime.